Today is July 28th, in the 16th week of Ordinary Time. I'm Brother Edward coming from Madison, Wisconsin. You'll hear a little gravel in my throat because our Canadian brothers and sisters are sharing their smoke with us these days, so it makes me a little gravelly. I apologize for that. <clears throat> in today's Gospel, Jesus, if you will, takes the, the mystery away. He explains the gospel to us very clearly. And he's reflecting upon the parable that he shared with the crowd uh, in the earlier part of Matthew's gospel. And he's explaining what this parable of the sower means in terms of the seed falling on different um, places. And we know, as Jesus explains it, he's not talking about an agricultural project. He's talking about people like us. And he's talking about the different ways we respond to the gospel. In particular, I'd like to focus in on one, one part of that story. And that is the seed that falls on good ground. And I hope that's us, but I'm a gardener. And I have a vegetable garden and a community garden near here. And it's about 25 feet by 50. And I plant all kinds of variety of things, as you can imagine. Zucchini, tomatoes, lettuce, beans, uh, you name it, broccoli. Uh, so all these things are there. But what's interesting in gardening, to, so that you're planting your seeds in good soil, is there has to be certain nutrients in the soil for different kinds of plants. Some plants need a lot of magnesium. Others need more acidity. Most of them, almost all of them, need some nitrogen. And because it's an organic garden, it takes some intentionality on developing these minerals to put in the soil. And in, a, in taking the image that Jesus is using allegorically, for us, if we want to be good soil, we have to fertilize, nurture, uh, fortify our soil as we're going along. And if you will, we need a religious formation in our lives. And I believe one area that sometimes we might be less conscious of than things like prayers and uh, sacraments and things is the importance of study. Study feeds the soul. Study done in the context of faith builds up our life. It stretches us. It enables us to grow in ways that normally we would not grow if we were not focusing in on a deeper reflection of our faith. And when a person writes a book or an article, it's a reflected word that's on that print. And when we study that, we go into that reflective mode and deepen our faith. So if, like you and I, we want to be fertile soil to hear the word of God, to be enable our, ourselves to be greater evangelizers, we want to study. So sometime over the summer, on those lazy days of summer, I hope you will pick up an, a book and uh, read something that normally you wouldn't read to enrich your soil so that you too can sprout the word of God in your life.